I think that to reduce health inequalities, the member states and the European Union have to tackle the factors which lead to disease, particularly chronic diseases. Why in some states is the smoker's rate 40% and in others it's 19%? Why is it that in some countries there are more programs for physical activity of citizens and young people and in others there are less? Why is it that in some states we have better nutrition programs, better nutrition education and in others there are less? Why is it that there is more alcohol consumption in certain uh, countries, member states, and less in others. So all these factors which lead to chronic diseases, which are costing the European Union billions of, of euros to treat, should be tackled in order to see why there are inequalities and what to do to narrow the gap. First of all, there, is, there are health inequalities between member states and there are health inequalities within the member states, within the regions of the member states themselves. We have published a report recently which shows that this is narrowing, but amongst certain socio-economic groups it has remained the same. So what is important is that health does not remain only the responsibility, the political responsibility only of the health ministers. Of course, they have the prime responsibility. But that all the other ministries, including urban planning, including the finance ministers, including the social welfare ministers, have a health policy. Because in so doing, we will try and narrow the gap even further. We as commission, um, there's a strong sense of uh, dimension of subsidiarity in, in health, so we can't force member states to do anything practically except some pieces of legislation like the tobacco legislation. But we can publish reports, we are publishing today a report on the Roma uh, health uh, situation amongst the, uh, amongst the Roma uh, category, and also we publish statistics to show who is doing well, who is not doing well, and then put political pressure so that the health inequalities diminish.